No arrests have yet been made in the matter. The police are concerned about the sudden safety. Unfortunately, are we winning? Very far from Borelli will be winning. The constitutional framework right now does not allow municipalities uh, to, to prosecute. We cannot uh, investigate. Um, the constitution does not allow us. That is why I'm appealing uh, to national leadership uh, for their intervention. As I've indicated, I've already five months ago, written to the president of the country, unfortunately, there's no interest uh, whatsoever. The cases are with, being withdrawn uh, with, uh, me, with overwhelming evidence uh, of wrongdoing. We as a province, as a country, we really need to look at where we are positioned in terms of you know, crime trends. You know, these are not only just successes that we are bringing to our residents, but I think um, you know, from, from that perspective of keeping the city safe, keeping our residents informed, we need to know where these crime stats are going and how the, uh, the, the trends are developing. So for example, you know, we see again across all regions uh, in the city of Johannesburg, drunken driving again is number one you know, for the month of October. So what does that tell us? You know, we, we see it as a lot of you know, lawbreakers out there, especially when it's over the weekend. Uh, people tend to go out and, and you know, enjoy themselves you know, very irresponsibly. Drugs that is being sold to our children at schools, and uh, drugs that is sold everywhere in the street corner of Johannesburg. It concerns me. But not only that, but the drug lords who are benefiting. You are, you are staying somewhere in something and make use of our poor people because they've got no jobs and they rely mostly on peddling this drug for the drug lords.